Hi, we're here today with the American Bass Anglers uh, Bassmaster Weekend Series Barbecue Tour, sponsored by Early Time Kentucky, Kentucky Whiskey. We're very excited. We have a huge group of um, cookers here with us. For a first year event, they say it's one of the very biggest ones. We're very excited over that. We have um, 27 pro cookers with us, and we have 10 backyard cookers with us today that I think are very excited as well. I think a lot of them have come uh, for the weekend to do more than just uh, compete here for yesterday and today, but to also uh, stay a few days in the area. And every one of the events that we will be doing will be those kinds of events where people will be on a vacation. They'll come for three to four days, bring their family with them, bring their jet skis. And the neat thing about us is that our pros are going to be taking them out on their boats. They can show them exactly what it's like to be in a tournament going 70 miles an hour down the river, so or down the lake. We're very excited over that. And I think they're very excited. I think some of them are almost more excited over that than they are over the cooking portion of it. We're very excited to be associated and be pairing the two together. We think that's such a great association between bass fishing, tournament bass fishing, and the world of competition barbecue. Um, so many people uh, are the very same. They're just good people that enjoy getting out, having a really great, wholesome family, family time together. Uh, our national sponsor is Early Time Kentucky Whiskey, and uh, it had been their dream for quite some time to really do a, a great barbecue event, and also had been ours. And so whenever we paired together, it just made so much sense. We will, we will change every year from one place to another. We will increase every year. Next year, we will probably double the, um, the cities that we're in, and we'll probably go up the northeast coast, maybe adding some seafood uh, as an auxiliary meat as well. So anyway, I wish all of you had been here today with us, and if you're not, I hope you'll come out to our next one, being in Catawba on uh, Lake Barkley. Hi, I'm Billy Carroll with Do-Rag Q from Nashville, Tennessee. I've been asked several times why we barbecue. I, I kind of go back to my, uh, wh where I grew up in Texas, that um, my, my family did a lot of barbecuing on the weekends, and we had friends and family over, and, and my job was to stoke the fire, uh, keep the briskets uh, looking good, and to uh, get my grandfather a Budweiser. And I love my grandfather. He's 91 years old, and uh, he helped raise me. And, and so every time I, get, I do this, I get to relive a little bit of my childhood and my, when I was being brought up in Texas, so brings back some really fond memories. So that's why I barbecue. Did you win? No, we haven't won anything yet. We've been competing. This is our fourth year now, and uh, we've had some success, but we haven't won a contest yet. But we we're going to keep trying. You wrapping them just like they come off the grill? Yeah. Double wrap. Double wrap. Use use do rag rub or is this? Uh, we use a uh, no, we don't. We use a different rub. A commercially available slightly modified. Yes. We use home BBQ rib rub. Okay. You spice it up, or use it straight? Uh, we, we put a little something extra in it. Okay. Kind of doctor it up to do rag taste. At this point, they've been on the smoker, uh, you know, almost two hours. So we're gonna wrap them, get them a little tender, and then we'll unwrap them again and finish them off. Dry them out? Yeah, because you don't quite have the bend in them yet, so they're no. not... Or the color. You don't have a good color. You don't have any of that moisture coming out. They'll darken up a little bit in there. How long will we be back on? Uh, you know, uh, about an hour and a half, something like that.
Yeah. 220? 210? We go 250. 250? Okay.